show you how you can record, or excuse me, how you can create a scan from Microsoft Word. The first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to be in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to open that up here. You need to be logged into a computer that has a scanner attached. So there's one towards the towards the center aisles, there's scanners, and towards the back of the room, there's scanners as well. So once again, make sure you're on one of those computers. What we're going to do here is we need to go under Insert, and there's no option here for scanning. However, if we go to Clipart, and we have this window pop over here on the right, I'm going to want to go to Organize Clip right here. When I click under Organize Clips, it's going to bring me to this window. When I get to here, if I click under File and I go to Add Clips to Organizer, one of my options is from Scanner. So when I select that, it's going to go out and it's going to ask me which scanner do I want to use. Now I've used this recently today, so it probably knows which scanner, but if not, it's going to come up and ask you to select a device. And there's only one device there, and it's default letter size 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And at that point, what it's going to do is going to go out and open up my scanner software. So it might take a couple seconds for it to reply, but this is the software for this particular scanner. If you're sitting on another machine, the software may look a little bit different. But eventually what's going to pop up is here's my scanner here. With my particular scanner, it's going to come up. It's going to ask me a couple of questions. Number one, what resolution? If it's going to go on the internet, web quality is fine. It's going to make a lower size file. But if I ever think I want to print this later, you want to select print quality. I'm going to have you do print quality because we are putting on the internet, but we never know if you're going to want to use that later or not as a printed option for a, a portfolio. So we'll select print quality. We'll click under custom insert. When you select custom insert, it lets you go out and basically define the area that you want to scan. So here I am. My paper source is the, it's the flatbed monitor. Do I want it to be color, grayscale, black and white? If you want it in black and white, like this particular message is here, I'll select grayscale. And then I'm going to do preview, and what it's going to do, it's going to go out, and it's going to try to find what it thinks I'm trying to scan, and it probably is going to draw a box around what I think I want to scan. Sometimes it's box is correct and other times not. I can tell by this it's not centering that very good. So I can move that box. I can resize it. It's better to give it a little bit of extra space than to be too tight. I don't want to cut anything off. But I'm basically just drawing a box around what I want to scan. So when I'm done, I hit scan, and it's going to go through the actual scanning process. When the scanner is done, it came up under my collections here. There's a HP ScanJet, that's the name of my scanner. If I click on there, that's where my scan's going to be. So if I drop that down, my options are I can copy it. So I'm going to do a copy, and I'm going to come over to my document, and I'm going to try to paste. And there's my scan. When you're done, it's like any other graphic that you've got in your document. You can change how it's aligned. You can change the text wrapping on it um, in line of text or square or drag it around. You can resize it. And before you put this on the internet, you're going to want to put a footer at the bottom that has a message at the bottom, the date you created it, the application, and so on. And to get it on the internet, we're going to want to save it as a PDF file. So once again, go ahead and click under Save as PDF.